Hey, what's up? This is an awful angle, I know, but it's pretty much the only angle I'm going to have. <laughs> Anyways, hey, please ignore the mess because we'll be cleaning up soon for New, York, New Year's and it got crazy around here for Christmas Eve and whatnot. So this is what happened. Woke up this morning and Amy comes banging on her door and she's like, Hey, I think the water got turned off. We're like, the water couldn't have got turned off. It's not supposed to be turned off till January 22nd. And they just give you a cutoff notice, you know, when they give you a new bill. She's like, whoa, the water's not flushing and the water's not on. And I'm like, oh, jeez. That means that we could have blown a pipe or something, you know. Uh, so I'm like, okay, go check the, the water in the kitchen. Make sure it's not off there. <clears throat> and it was off there. I'm like, oh, crap. What are we going to do? So Sasha jumps out of bed and she calls them. She's like, we don't have any water. And um, they're like, well, that's because we shut it off. And apparently they had sent us one saying that they were going to turn it off. And <laughs> they send you one saying they're going to turn it off. And then they send you another one saying on that bill it's going to be turned off. Anyways, they screwed us all up, so we spent that money for Christmas, which we had the money to, s we had all the money in the world, obviously, because we bought this, <sighs> but, so Dave went ahead and paid it because he owed us $20, so everything, it's back on now, but God, that sucked, I mean, that just sucked, so then we had to go to, we went to Walmart today, excuse me, we went to Walmart today, and, uh, I was in, I was, I had the wheelchair, and I like to have Sasha push me because people seem to get out of the way better, and, um, not today. Uh, Amy was pushing me across because we had something to return. We had one of the, one of the memory cards to return for the old camera, and, uh, this, this monkey guy, he comes walking past and he's he's looking right at me and Emmy's pushing me and if you don't know my sister is mentally challenged and I'm like Emmy stop 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 she's like no no I, I, I know what I'm doing I'm like no stop she wouldn't stop the guy wouldn't stop because that's how they are around here with the disabled they won't they don't give a crap they will stay <clears throat> don't even get me started on that anyways I had to grab the wheels on the wheelchair because it was a regular wheelchair. It wasn't the motorized. And uh, so I pulled my muscles really bad in my arms. <sighs> I was really mad. And Sasha really didn't see much of it. She just heard a little bit of what was going on. Man, I was pretty mad. I was. I just am sick of people with the, the disabled because whenever I'm trying to go, I don't, I don't like taking the carts because I, I always feel like I'm in the carts because I'm fat. You know, but that's really not how it is because, um, well, I mean, not really because so, most of the days I'll be okay. I'm okay, but with all the problems I have, I can't go and just walk around, you know, and I can go out as long as I'm sitting down, you know, my energy's okay. It's just like if I have gout flaring up. It's like these little tiny crystals just digging into your bone and it hurts so bad to walk. Or you get these awful charley horses and every little bit of your muscles or your joints hurt and I just can't can't do the whole thing. I'll I'll refuse to get a cart and they and Sasha and Emmy will get mad at me and Emmy will have to go get a cart for me halfway through the shopping trip just about every single time. Because I'm about to fall on the floor. And then I'm, I'm going through the store every time. And people won't get out of the way. They cut me off. And then I'll I'll be going along. And they'll cut me off. They're not looking. And I'll run into them. Or almost run into them. I get panic attacks because of that. And it's like I can't even go shopping. And if I had my own motorized car. It would be the same way. It just really sucks. I don't know. And it's even worse because when, when I have the, the, shing, the, the recurring shingles come on, that's fun. I don't go out anyways, really. 
um, unless I have it under control and, and I have the lights off with me and all that, but <clears throat> I just can't go out very much. It's just a big ordeal, and I'm just tired of the way people treat me because of it. And I guess that's it for now. And I probably won't post this in my regular journals because because people are kind of tired of me talking about my disabilities. Cause, but when you have disabilities, you talk about it a lot because you live it every day. It doesn't just go away. It's there every day. You feel it every day. When you wake up, you don't want to get out of bed because you hurt so bad or you're so tired. It's there every day, but people don't really get that, you know. But you got to keep a, a good spirit or... I mean, I could get bitter about it, and sometimes I do. When I'm going through a flare-up of gout and a flare-up of fibro and a flare-up of, of shingles, yeah, you bet your ass I'm freaking bitter. I am during that time because there's only so much you can take. But then when it's all over, I start to feel a little better. But I lash out at a lot of people, and I don't like that. That's, that's not cool. But, I'm on a lot of medicines, and I guess that kind of helps, but, I mean, I don't have doctors yelling at me to lose weight, because they know that half the medicines they put me on makes me gain weight, and that I can't hardly walk most of the days, but I, I try to do what I can. So, uh, as soon as I get disability, I'll be able to get checked out more extensively. I mean, my doctor can't wait. She wants to do the whole CAT scan and MRIs and everything. She can't wait. And I can't wait, but I, I can at the same time because I don't want... I'm not looking forward to going through that hell. <laughs> I don't like all the IVs and all that. But, uh... Also, I wanted to say a little note to Josh... I guess I've been reading your uh, journal every day. Well, not every day, but you check on it all the time. And I guess I've been wanting to comment on a lot of the things. I've been pretty worried about your physical health because, well, you know, I go through a lot of the things that you go through every day. Like, I can understand not ever getting enough sleep, it feels like, and being sick and tired of your muscles hurting every day. Sometimes I wonder if you if you really have something. I mean, sometimes it is from depression that really can be, but my doctor told me, well, it's all from depression, but she was a whack job, so we can't really say anything from that. But, um, I don't know. I, I, I feel your pain, brother. I do, and I can totally relate. I'm just diagnosed. I've just been diagnosed with everything, but... <clears throat> I can feel your pain when you're sick and tired of it all. I can't imagine having three kids on top of it. I can barely handle just the animals some days or Emmy. So, uh, and you gotta hold on to that, the faith, because that's definitely what I do most of the time. Anyways, uh, there'll be more later. Uh, I got a lot of video posts to put up and stuff, because... I'm like a video whore right now. So, anyways, I'll, I'll talk to you guys later or whatever. Anyway, ciao.